the Azerbaijani delegation and the ethnic Armenian delegation uh, have not reached a concrete agreement, but both sides are keen to meet again and continue talks which could perhaps f end with a peace agreement and end this conflict once and for all. That is what both sides are hoping for. Um, one of the, I guess, small achievements of the negotiations is that the Azerbaijani delegation agreed to send petrol and water to uh, villages in Nagorno-Karabakh who have been reporting a severe shortage of food and essentials and uh, have been asking for help. Uh, so that is something that will be done, but there is, again, no set date for that, so they have no idea when this aid will come. Um, Prime Minister Pashinyan, whose office was not represented at the negotiations, uh, meanwhile did say that he was ready to take in 40,000 families from the Nagorno-Karabakh region if necessary, but kept trying to assure civilians that they are under no direct threat. Now, this was all happening uh, as civilians were hearing shots um, in the de facto capital, Stepanakert. Um, many were sent um, to shelters, to uh, military bases belonging to Russian peacekeepers. There was a lot of panic uh, reported from local journalists there and uh, locals on social media last night, and it doesn't seem to have uh, the situation doesn't seem to have calmed down yet. Uh, a lot of people are stuck in their homes, unsure what to do. There is no sign coming uh, from any authorities of where to go uh, next.